Welcome back guys. Quick update. I've been 3D printing like crazy on the Creality CR10 and I'm just about ready to do my review on this. I think I'm the only YouTuber out there that actually paid for one of these. I actually paid full price but I do have a discount code for you. I'll put it in the link below. Now I know why people are buying them. It's just absolutely incredible. Once I got some basic tuning done on it, which I'm going to share my profiles uh, for the 3D printing, uh, set up in Cura with you guys so you can duplicate the results, but 3d printed benchies just come off Nearly perfect right out of the box all kinds of things I'll show you these in the review but Saturn 5 rockets that have worked out fairly well right now I'm actually pushing the limits on this 3d printer a little bit. I've been trying to 3d print our moon in in dimensional accuracy or fairly dimensionally accurate but uh, the results are, are great and the only trouble I'm having is right up here at the top of the moon non filled area because I'm printing this with no infill whatsoever I'm truly pushing the limits of this printer and then, then it, it led me to actually making something kind of cool using the hole in the bottom of this I simply went to dollar store and grabbed some of these, uh, well, right now it's almost Halloween, so they're tea light candles, and they work fantastic. You just plug them right into the bottom, and we can hot glue it on, and then you have yourself a cool little night light uh, with the actual moon in dimensionally accurate. So uh, just a funny, funny little 3D printed side venture. It's working out exceedingly well. I've got a 3D printed quadcopter coming up on the channel. It's going to be a fun little project as well as well several other back here that uh, I'm going to save for a future project. I have tons and tons of filaments that I've been trying out. Uh, one after the other after the other. If you guys want to see some reviews on some filament, we may do that in an upcoming video too. Uh, I've got some flexible filament to try out. I'm going to try this Sane Smart flexible filament and hopefully that's going to work out pretty good. Overall, uh, loving this printer. It's been a, a fun couple weeks in the lab and I can't wait to bring you the review. Long story short, to cut to the punchline, there's a reason that everybody bought these and everybody got their hands on them and raves about them. They are as good as what people are saying they are. They're, it, I have almost nothing bad to say about it. And the things that, the only bad things, are two minute fixes. There's nothing to it. And I'll show you how to do those in the, my full CR10 review video. They're like tiny little tweaks and this thing, 400 bucks and under Canadian pesos. And you've got yourself just a wicked 3D printer. You can make just about anything. So uh, I will see you guys in a couple of days, Friday for a new video. Click a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. I truly love the fact that you guys click that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. It lets me know that you're out there, lets me know what you guys think, and lets me interact with you guys every week. So uh, hopefully we can bring you lots more 3D printing and lots more uh, cool projects coming up with this. Let's get some robotics built and have a good time. Cheers, guys. I really love that they have to point out that this is not a toy. Do not set on fire.